Good morning all of you beautiful people, my name is Kaya and today I have a bit of a different video. Today I'm going to be talking about something that could potentially be kind of sensitive, so if you are in any kind of space where you aren't going to want to talk about manipulation or anything of that kind of nature, just don't watch this, go watch something else, go watch something happy. I woke up the other day and found something on Reddit and I have to share it with you, okay? it's so since this is like somebody else posting their life story and all that jazz i'm not going to be saying their username or anything like that they did post it on the internet so if you feel like doing your own research obviously you can come and find it but don't anyways we'll go ahead and get right into it okay just so you know there is a happy update to the story and if you go to their profile which you shouldn't but if you do you'll see that they actually have broken up with their significant other already so and deleted all of the posts, so <laughs> you won't be able to see what I'm talking about anyway. So about a week ago, there was somebody that posted on Reddit and they asked, is the way my girlfriend talking to me normal? And they posted some screenshots of messages and they also have a little description that I'm gonna read for you. For context, I never post on social media and have zero Instagram posts. The other day, I screenshotted a picture my girlfriend sent me and posted it to my Snapchat story saying, I'm thankful for this scooper just to make her happy, even though I never post my own life. She got really mad about me posting it and I apologized and offered to take it down immediately. For the rest of the story, I have no Instagram posts and wanted my first post to be special. I had a few pictures with her and my friends that I wanted to post, but the one that I wanted to make the cover post, my friend had. He told me he didn't like how his hair looked in it and wanted to edit it before sending it to me. I didn't want to post it without that pic, but he was procrastinating doing it, so I kept having to wait to post a pic. And I can see how this came off weird towards her, but I've always treated her with kindness and been gentle towards her, so it kind of hurts that she assumed that I had ill intent. I understand if my girlfriend wanted me to post her, but I feel as like this was a very harsh response. I am not active on any social media really and have previously posted highlights of her in my Insta story just to make her happy, even though I don't post myself. Other context, we sometimes call each other man, which is why I said it at the beginning. And he has attached a few pictures of their text messages for context, so let's dive in. She says, I'll post this on my story and let's see how you feel. He says, sorry man, I was just trying to be cute and post you. I thought it looked like an obvious goofball pic and that was a cute thing. Well, it's not cute if I don't look cute. That was rude. And honestly, I can't tell if it's like you want to show everyone I'm ugly or not. If you wanted to post me that badly, you would have on Instagram by now. No excuses. It's the truth. What do you mean, show you that you're ugly? I'm good enough for an underground bisco and a shitty Snapchat post, but not Instagram worthy? Fuck you. Stop it. Get some help. I get it. I understand both sides of the story here. She probably doesn't know that you're waiting on your friend to do this. Sh right? She probably doesn't know that, you know, there's other things behind the scenes and communication here is key, okay? What the f I'm not talking about name. If you would have wanted to post me on Instagram, you would have by now. No more f excuses. Stop bringing up Nate in our Halloween pictures. You act like those are the only pictures that we have together. I'm losing my patience and I've been patient enough. Don't even think about posting me on your snapchat or visco until you do on instagram i need some space talk to you later as a girl i know what she's saying but the approach terrible you're being a jerk can't see what he said but she responds with respectfully shut the fuck up about the halloween pics that's not at all what i'm talking about he says but I'm just saying those are the pics I wanted to post for my first post along with the top golf one of us along with the one with Aaron. Mm. If you so as much as bring it up again, I'm living on red. That's literally not at all is what I was talking about at all. I'm not going to read these perfectly. These people text different than my brain wants to read it. So it's not happening right. And I'm just going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean then? I don't care. You only want to blame everyone else for not posting me yet, which is exactly why you bring up the fucking Halloween pics. You can't just say, yes, blink. I'm sorry I haven't posted you on Instagram and take full responsibility. No, it's everyone else's fault except I'm assuming you. He says, these were the best pictures of us. And she says, 
God, bye. I wanted my first post to be special. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. Stop making everything about you. I don't give a fuck about the Halloween pictures. Stop talking about them for fuck's sakes. <laughs> you obviously don't understand. I'm done talking. Goodbye. The pics we have over the summer are all selfies and I wanted a photo shoot to get a post. And I wanted to take a photo shoot to get a post. Bye. If you don't want to talk it through, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay, you're being really rude. Then try being in my position. Then talk to me. So can we s please re-say your point so we can go off of that? Question mark? Question mark? I'm done. I've tried. You don't listen. It's all about you. Always. I asked if you could rephrase it so we could work through it. Don't know what he said because he can't screenshot correctly. <laughs> It seems fake, to be honest. I don't want you to now. I had to beg for you to do it, and now I don't care. Don't worry, I won't be posting you anymore since it hasn't been reciprocated. Talk to you later. I'm still gonna post it because I was already gonna post it. <laughs> Why did you stop sharing your location? Turn it back on. If we talk through things and communicate, then it is the only way to work through these issues in a healthy manner and helps ensure we figure help out problems out. Whatever he, whatever he said. So. I think that he screenshotted ones that made his girlfriend look bad because Reddit sided with him. Also, I thought this was funny how they, you know, I'm grammar police too, so that one made me laugh, okay? I found someone that kind of agreed with me. Glam Effect 2445 says, probably gonna get downloaded, but I have a huge suspicion that there's a huge chunk of conversation missing before it got to the level we see here. I'm concerned this might be one of those scenarios where someone's cherry picking the conversations to show others where they can be like, see, you're crazy. And everyone agrees with me. Of course, I don't know for definite, but I could be wrong. Either way, you need to break up. You are a dreadful couple. I have post number two, so I'm gonna read it to you because I think you deserve it. I posted a conversation between my girlfriend and I a few days ago, and I wanted to know if the way my girlfriend spoke to me was normal. In the example I used, it was a rare time where I tried to stand up for myself and talk back to her since I felt like I was always being too nice and sh after she was being mean to me. But these messages are a better example of how I normally try to openly communicate my feelings. I try to calmly talk and figure things out, solutions. I try to calmly. I try to talk calmly and figure out solutions to everything. In the text from the last example, my text seemed less than calm, but it was because I always try to be calm in these examples above, and I had felt like I was starting to look like a doormat if it didn't stand my ground. Weird, but okay. The first slip was because she got mad at me after asking if she wanted to go pedal boating, where she told me I didn't ask it in a structured enough way. I was just seeing if it was something she'd even want to do. Valid? That's valid. Totally valid. The second and third slides were because I brought her to my grandparents' house to make cookies. I barely got any sleep the night before and I was very out of it. Because of this, I forgot to formally say this is my girlfriend when we walked in and I understand how that could come off bad and I tried to apologize many times and tell her that it was an honest mistake because I was tired and this was the combo following that. I told him all about her the day before and said they'd meet her so truly it was an honest mistake. I'm so sorry if that was terrible. Just because you say, let's do pedal boats doesn't mean you're planning anything. You didn't ask me what day I was free or what time. Like, are you free next week on Thursday at 3 to go paddle boating in Denver? Totally different. And if you can't comprehend the difference, that's not my fault. It's weird to do that and also not to mention very unhygienic. She's mean. Anyways, I will start doing that more. I don't care. It's too late. What do you mean? I want you to have me not have to spell it out for you. Uh, this is what I mean by man-child. This is too much. I should have to give my boyfriend a guidebook on this crap. I don't like the way she texts. It's really confusing for me to read. <laughs> Please let me know when you get to the airport safely and when you were boarding. I miss you, baby. I'll FaceTime you a lot when you were free. You are so beautiful as well. I want you to know. I want you to wake up knowing that. Not to be rude, but it's not because you were tired. I'm here and boarding and I'll talk to you later. You need to act more mature. I feel like I'm not being led by a man, but a boy instead, and I really hate that. I'm sorry for not introducing you yesterday. This message is very emasculating and mean, and I've never been more hurt and angered, and I don't understand why you would say something that degrading like that. I don't feel like talking, and I would appreciate some alone time. Sounds, let me know. When you learn basic Cuban etiquette, I'm kind of done tiptoeing around your feelings when the vibe you give off isn't great. Just saying, I'm so over the plane immaturity. You act like a boy. You need to grow up. Seriously, don't bother texting me. I'll be too busy. He dumped her ass without further ado. <laughs> Update. Is the way my girlfriend talks to be normal? Part three. 
Update, I just broke up with her. I just posted a second post a few hours ago and I am very thankful for all the comments that everyone posted. That was my first relationship, we can tell. This is what his Reddit history is and I don't know if he knew this, but like, I don't go to the internet to ask the internet about questions about my relationship. You can, of course, that's what the internet's for. But it seems like you knew that the resort was breaking up and you just were probably delaying the inevitable. Um, I'm sorry, because I don't break up suck, but you should probably delay those too. Although I have routinely told her that I won't stand for how she talks to me when she's mad, it has kind of been a theme for a lot of the relationship, and she would never permanently stop. She would go back to being nice again for a while after apologizing until we got into another argument. I have come to realize that it was just who she was, and it was always something that I was going to have to deal with to some degree. I looked for advice because I was always wondering if my ADHD behaviors were too annoying to deal with, but I realized it doesn't warrant being spoke to like shit, even if this disability can be annoying to deal with. Thanks for all the support from everyone. Everyone. Now listen, I hope you don't think I've been shitting on this guy the whole time. I understand both points. I just wanted to kind of give her point maybe from my experience. I'm assuming this is probably how she feels. I could be completely wrong, but I, I've been there and I've been in those relationships where like you were like, post me and they're like, okay. And then you're like, you gonna post me? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. And then you never get posted and you look like a fucking stupid ass bitch because he was cheating on you the whole time and that's why he didn't post you. Yeah. I it's not, there's other reasons why she got upset and I get his point too. It's completely valid. There's no reason for her to be talking to him like that. There's no reason for all that. It was toxic. Okay, cut it out. Break up, they separated, they parted ways. I summer all the story. Okay, if you are in this kind of relationship, just leave. There's no point in trying to make it work. There's no point in trying to like, I get it. Okay, I get being with someone for time and having all that. I get it, I understand. But there's no, your happiness is so much more important. I hope that sounds right. Being happy is so much more important than being in a relationship with somebody that you aren't happy with. So thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I've never done like a Reddit story before. So I hope that you liked this one. Um, if you did, you guys know what to do. Stay rad, you guys. Don't get abducted by aliens because that doesn't sound like fun. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye. Look at my hair. This is the... That's how it's looking. I washed it one time and it's just like...